All right, take a look at this. In the middle of this town, a statue of a goddess. And what is she holding? A bull weevil. What? Hey, well, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, Enterprise, Alabama. And what we were just looking at there is a monument to the bull weevil put up here by the citizens of Enterprise, Alabama. Now, for those of you who may not know, a bull weevil is a horrific little bug that eats crops, destroys entire fields worth of crops, and namely cotton. For some reason, the people of this town decided they were gonna honor the bull weevil. Are these people insane? These people sadistic maniacs? No, these people are not sadistic maniacs. This is actually, as far as civic monuments goes, this is one of the most positive towns I've ever seen, if you think about it. Because see, the reason that they chose to put a monument to the bull weevil is there was actually a time when the bull weevil came and destroyed all the cotton crops. And what that meant was that the town would have to start over, would have to find new crops, new solutions, new ways of making money. And in the end, they felt that, that actually made the town grow and prosper. And they actually call themselves Enterprise, a city of progress. So they actually give the bug credit for destroying their crops and forcing them to find new ways, which actually led to growth and prosperity. Which is kind of an idea I love, because I've had moments in my life where I thought they were the worst moments in my life. And then I look back, if it weren't for that moment, then some of the best moments wouldn't have happened. It's just, and I think any, everyone can probably look at a time in their life where they thought that they were at their absolute lowest. But it turns out that if that hadn't happened, then they would not have had a chance to search and find something that was even more meaningful. That's actually, you know, I work as a social worker during the day when I'm not on these road trips. And that's actually a very social worky, social worky, if that's a word, ideal. We tell clients that when there's a crisis, that gives you a true opportunity for change. And the people here in Enterprise, Alabama, truly, truly took in that to heart and took what could have been a horrific disaster. There could be a museum dedicated to how awful the Bull Weevil is. They could change this town, name of the town, to Bull Weevil Suck, Alabama. But instead, they thanked him. They thanked him for, for giving them challenge. So maybe you should thank someone or something that gives you a challenge, that makes you a better person. Just like Enterprise Alabama thanked something theoretically bad for making them a better town. I want to get a closer look at this monument, but it's in the middle of a busy intersection. Check this out. This is a radio station, WVVL 101. Do you get it? WVVL 101, the weevil. Okay, I ran out into the middle of the street to see the statue. Don't do this at home, kids. Look at that. It's amazing. Okay, that was some serious jaywalking. <laughs> Seriously though, these people, they really love bow weevils. That mural over there has the weevil. Don't know who that guy is. It's apparently the major industry that replaced the growing of cotton was the peanut industry. It's depicted in this mural. We see the farmer over here looking into these dark, cloudy skies. Then we have the bull weevil that comes along, eats all the cotton, and laughs maniacally. Then they start growing peanuts. They have a nice sunny peanut field over there that uh, produces tons of cash, town makes bank, and they say, hey, Bo Weevil, thanks, appreciate it. And he says, 
No problem. Anytime. Mmm. Bow weevils. I mean donuts. This apparently isn't actually the original statue. The original statue was built in 1919. Then in 1998, two idiotic hooligans knocked down the statue and buried it and completely destroyed it for no other reason than they were stupid jerks. All right, appreciate you guys watching this video. I just want to give you a little bit of homework. I want everyone out there to say thank you to a bull weevil in their life.